The 2022 Seven. Austin Film Festival is in full swing this week and continues to honor the craft of storytelling through the lens of writers, filmmakers, and actors. One of the films screened over the weekend at the Paramount Theater was Who Invited Charlie, featuring an all-star cast. Who Invited Charlie follows a New York City family during the start of the COVID-19 pandemic when the world first goes into lockdown. The family of three heads to the Hamptons to quarantine, but receives quite a surprise with an unexpected guest named Charlie. <laughs> joining us this morning is Peter Dagger, who plays the son Max in the film. Peter, thanks for joining us. Of course, thank you for having me. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, you were just talking to us about this it's your first feature film. Yes, it is. Talk to us a little bit about how awesome it was working on this film. Uh, it was incredible. It was a dream. I'm still sort of getting over it and being here at the festival and celebrating the film sort of just like uh, brings back all those memories. And it's it was an incredible experience with the all-star cast, as you mentioned. And uh, we had a great team behind it, a great director, a great DP, great producers, great writer. It was really a dream for it to be my first film. Yeah. yeah. The writing was great. Cinematography, absolutely beautiful. Donnie yeah. and I had the chance to uh, see the screening. Yeah. What brought you to that script and the character of Max? Well, when I got the script, um, and I, I, I get a lot of auditions, so you can sort of just like distinguish good writing from the, the lesser, you know. And this was one of those scripts that was just like very well written. The character was very clear, very specific. So immediately I was drawn to it and I got together with a friend, we put this on tape, we put the audition on tape and you know, it was just something I was immediately compelled to and I wanted to work on it and luckily, you know, after meeting the, the creatives, I got it and I was able to be a part of it. Yeah, but it was incredible. I knew it from the get go. Yeah, I mean, we all experienced obviously everything that was going on the pandemic. I think one of the funnier parts of the movie is seeing like, the depiction of like the beginning times. Yeah. Um, how was that like sort of like reenacting those moments? Oh my God, it was, uh... oh man, I, I don't even know. I mean, it's just like, it's funny making a movie about something that was so real to us, um, but doing it in a way where we can look back and laugh at ourselves. And uh, it's everything that we needed to do, we did, but it's sort of funny and absurd and looking back at it, at it and sh while we were shooting it was uh, sort of this like antithesis of just like oh my god this actually happened like we actually went through this and the other part of me was like I wasn't there during New York and in, in, in during COVID I was at my home in Miami so it was also completely different so it was interesting it was like re like going through it again with new parents and <laughs> and and a new house <laughs> so it was it was interesting yeah absolutely there are some seasoned actors that are also yes. in the film alongside you we have uh, yes. Jordana Brewster Reed Scott yeah. and Adam Pally what was it like working with them among others it was incredible it's um and their characters were all so specific like mm -hmm. i said before so you really got to see like the, the, a different version of everyone Adam was so light and on his toes and on his feet, um, just like an improv genius, and he was just constantly adapting. Reed was so intimidating. I, I said this when we did a call back in the Hamptons. He's, with him, it just, I didn't feel like I had to act once they called action because, you know, uh, Reed, I was so easily intimidated by Reed while we were shooting because he would come in full force, say, hey, what, what's going on, what's going on? And he was on those calls and all you have to do is listen and I'm you're in it and then you can sure. wow how would max react to this yeah and charlie's just <laughs> adam's just a joy to work with and he's a goofball and he's cracking jokes in between takes and it's oh, easy to just jump in with him so probably some improv moments there as oh, well oh yeah. yeah yes 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 i mean once you see the film I, it's just there's there's so many great improv moments yeah yeah so this is your first time here in austin first time and i love it we will be coming back i will be coming back it's such a great city and it's it's funny you you think about Texas and I hear, I'm also very young, so I haven't traveled a lot, but I hear like Houston and Dallas and coming to Austin, I mean, what, just like what, what an atmosphere. It's people that appreciate film and art and it's sort of just like, a, it's, it's a beautiful Nice. Awesome. Well, yeah, I mean, we both love the film. It's mm -hmm. so like, I think I was telling Jane about it. It's like sweet, it's like poignant, yeah. it's funny. There's so many great moments from it. So yeah. what are we gonna get from you next? What's the next thing on the horizon? Oh yeah, well, I just, uh, a couple months after we wrapped on that, I just uh, finished shooting about two months ago, Insidious. It's a scary movie franchise. And yeah, I'll be in the next Insidious movie. And now I'm just sort of auditioning again. and in the works for a couple of things and we'll see if anything you know happens. Nice. Very cool, but, yeah. exciting things. Quite a change from this film. 
Yeah. <laughs> Quite a change. Yeah, Quite a change, yeah. Well, yeah. Peter, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate no, you being here. No, seriously, thank you for yeah, having so me. awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. And thanks for loving the film, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It was great. And the Austin Film Festival, Festival continues until Thursday of this week. For more information, you can head to austinfilmfestival.com.